<clears throat> Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. This is Chaos Central News, and I'm Chris Knight, coming to you from an undisclosed location in a Japanese volcano that does not make lava lamps. Breaking news. The term geek is no longer an insult. It tells people that you are awesome. Dictionary.com defines the word geek as a noun meaning an unfashionable or socially inept person. But wait, it's 2019, so things must have changed, right? Since everything on the internet is true, we went hunting and found this archive footage. At the years of collecting geekness at the International Geek Institute, using state-of-the-art hypoallergenic equipment, we injected the geekness into this non-geek subject. Watch now as we see how they are affected. Oh, you heard about Pluto? Okay, so not so informative. More disturbing, and uh, yeah, we need to fire herb and research right now. In today's terminology, Wikipedia defines geek as a slang term originally used to describe eccentric or non-mainstream people. In current use, the word typically connotes an expert or enthusiast or someone obsessed with a hobby or intellectual pursuit. Here at Chaos Central News, we have our own resident geek, Tristan of Nerdette's Newsstand, to explain what being a geek means to her. Tristan. Hey guys, it is Tristan with Nerdette's Newsstand, and when Chris asked me to give him a definition of what a geek is, there is a lot of things that come to mind. So Tristan, would you... And basically to me, like, a geek just isn't somebody who... Fits into a certain mold. Okay, so... You know, it could be anything from just somebody thinking outside of the box to a love for Star Wars or, you know, me when it comes to being absolutely obsessed with Batman and comic books. So, so in that there is no stereotypical thing when you hear about geeks. There's so many different types of, you know, geeks. I, I, I don't know much more to say about that, but I've really never met just, you know... A pocket protector stereotypical one. So we're all a little different and whether it's our likes or our dislikes or the fact that, you know, we'll stick up for each other, we will have each other's back. We are definitely more than just glasses and a pocket protector. We all have our different likes. We all have our different quirks. So a geek to me is just somebody who thinks outside the mold and I think that's the best definition. Thanks, Tristan. I wish I could have gotten a word or two in, but hey, I'm sure all of our viewers are glad someone could shut me up. When needing more info on any subject, many times we look to science. Here to explain the current pursuits of science's interest in geeks is Sean Stackhouse with the Reformed you. Decaf Latte, twice removed, International Geek Institute. Sean! I love you! No help! Save me! Save me! Save me! Impregnate! Impregnate! No! Sean! Oh, well, oh. Um, okay, yeah. Were you just playing with dolls? What? No, no, I was uh, doing research with my action figures. Yeah. Uh, sure you were. Yeah. Uh, anyways, what is it that you at the Riddle Triggy are studying right now? We here at Triggy, and yes, Chris, we call it Triggy, are studying a wide range of geekdom from Whovians to Cumber Bitches. But our foremost concern is ridding geek culture of the mental disease called SJW. SJW? What type of disease is that? Don't ask. Okay, so how would you define the modern geek? Here's one of his success stories now. I used to be a normie. I've uh, started going to Comic Cons, getting my life straightened out, you know? And now I'm involved in things like Star Wars and co comics and Marvel. For Captain Marvel, that is. I've really moved forward. Now I can be the best me possible. Thanks, Sean. That was informative. Our reporters on the street have been asking random people what they believe being a geek is. Here's one of those people. I think really being a geek is kind of, you know, it's it's loving something, but it's also enlightening other people who don't understand as much. It's it's making sure that people understand why you like it and why you'd be willing to do almost anything to protect that what you like. So it's really all about being invested into culture. Uh, if you ask me, we didn't. being a geek is the rite of passage. It's a step towards... Wait, this just in. I've just been told we have a special announcement from 2020 presidential hopeful Jesse, Exaggeration Nation.
And now a paid announcement from American Party people for a better tomorrow and save the children. My fellow Americans, as I go on the campaign trail, ready for the 2020 election, running under the party of American Party people for a better tomorrow and save the children, it is my pleasure to announce my first campaign promise, which will be to move anybody considered a geek or a nerd into a protected minority group. We will have a tax bracket set up for you so that you will no longer have to pay taxes. Do you consider yourself a video gamer, a Halo guy, a Call of Duty guy, a Fortnite person, Kingdom Hearts person? It doesn't matter. Do you enjoy tabletop games such as Yu-Gi-Oh, Dungeons and Dragons, um, Magic the Gathering? Do you consider yourself an aficionado of all things fantasy? Harry Potter, Lord of the Rings, Game of Thrones. Maybe you're a superhero fan. DC, Marvel, Superman, Spider-Man, Wonder Woman, Captain Marvel, I couldn't even say it. Anyways, get out there on the campaign trail, vote Jesse Exaggeration Nation, the party of American party people for a better tomorrow, and save the children. I am America, and so can you. As you can see, there are a lot of differing opinions on what it means to be a geek. No one definition is right or wrong. It is the very fact that you cannot completely single out what it is to be a geek. There is a little geek in all of us. So for Chaos Central Breaking News Report, I'm Chris Knight. Don't tell me that I'm crazy. Don't tell me I'm nowhere. Take it from me. It's hip to be We'd like to thank everyone uh, for the Fandom Menace, the Fandom Collective, and the Couture Chat, especially yeah. Mary Mayhem, Thomas Gilkey, Jesse of Exaggeration Nation, and Tristan of Nerdette's Newsstand. And last but certainly not least, I'd like to thank this guy right here, Sean Stackhouse, for his time and effort in helping make this video what it is. Please go follow, sub, and support The Real Review 3000 and all of my fellow geeks. You can find their links below. Thank you.